The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Okechuku Enelama, is in the southwest on a facility tour of some pharmaceutical companies that have benefited from the intervention of the Bank of Industry to upgrade their production facilities. One of such companies is May and Baker. Before being led into the facility, the CEO, Mayan Baker, Mr. Namdi Okafo, receives the minister in the boardroom and reels out some of the challenges peculiar to the pharmaceutical industry, particularly Mayan Baker. He, however, stresses that the Bank of Industry has been immensely supportive all the way. Most of our, our power um, suppliers are dominating their bills in US dollars. And that's one thing I want to really uh, talk about because power um, for this factory, you know, I spend about 500 million every year for power. That is about half of my overhead cost running the factory. And the key drivers of that huge cost are the devaluation that happened. So suddenly, the cost of everything went up, the cost of gas itself. And for those people who even generate power, they are also denominating their contracts in US dollars. So once there's imposition, they increase their, their, their costs. So it's, it's a major problem. And then one other thing that is of concern is the nature of contracts that come from the suppliers. You know, um, there's some kind of uh, monopoly with the gas, natural gas supply. So around here, there's just one company that supplies um, gas. So what they do to you is, you want gas, you go to them and they say, hey, um, the minimum gas that we can supply will be this. You know, you take it or you leave it. So for this facility, when we started, they gave us a minimum quantity. So we must use that or pay. The minister responds to some of the pressure points highlighted by the May and Baker MD and promises to intervene in the most practical way while calling on the company as well as others in the sector to collaborate with government. We are not paying lip service when we say we want to understand your problems and we want to be able to solve them. But the main message I'd like to leave you with is that like we genuinely are very interested in being part of the solution. You know, I think that um, if you ask most people in government, they can actually make your presentation. I'm sure if you ask Carl De Peter, he's been in private sector, he's been a backer, he's been a private, he could probably list all the problems that you have. I'm sure the same thing may be true of Mr. Noha. My point being that like, um, it's good to state the issues as a content, but we must quickly move towards solving them. And in thinking about solving them, my approach to problem solving is that, like, I like people who first accept responsibility. Any person that is a student of um, personal effectiveness, like the Covis of this world, or anybody who is a life coach, will tell you that every problem begins to get a solution when the person who is dealing with the problem accepts responsibility. It's a contrarian principle. Most people think about it in terms of what can you do for me, and that's where they start from. But problems don't get solved from there. What would be good is to say, these are the issues, and this is how we propose we go about them. This is what we will do. This is what we need from you. And, and, and I think you'll find us to be a very winning government. And I'm not trying to abdicate responsibility. The same thing applies to me. The way I present things when I talk to people, I just don't want to take too much of your time because I'm sure you've heard. I talk about all the things we're doing as a government. And you, you, you capture them very well. So um, I'm glad that you're, you're keyed into that. Um, but I would say by far the most important legacy we want as a government is to deal with the issue of enabling environment. And I use enabling environment very expansively, very generously. In other words, it includes both soft and hard infrastructure. You know, we want to make it easier for you to do business with government. We want to make it easier for you to get things through the ports. For the MD Bank of Industry, Mr. Lukai de Quiton, challenges facing all businesses in the country are no doubt hydra-headed. He, however, asks May and Baker to come forward with the most pressing issues and the Bank of Industry would work with them to solve the problems as they have done in the past. We have supported you uh, and will still support you. 
you know. So let us know how best, you know, uh, we can improve on what we have done in the past. You know, the problems that you listed are common to virtually uh, all industries. You know, we had foreign exchange problem. Uh, because of that, the cost of working capital virtually doubled. In some cases, they tripled. Uh, there are delays in ports. Uh, working capital needs increased. Uh, so similar problems, you know, but they can be solved. The cost of financing was too high. Like you said, you're paying about 25%. Uh, you, there are very few businesses you can do and pay 25% interest rate and still be very profitable, which is why BOI is in business. Uh, government wants to lower that cost. And we are aware, as we are making efforts to help the middle and uh, the small enterprises, we know that people like you who are employing 1,000 people, 2,000 people must also be supported, you know. Uh, and so we are open for business, you know. So let us know and uh, see what we can do with you, not only you, but all the people in, the, in your subsector. We want you to grow. We want many more companies to have this World Bank certification that they are able to produce drugs and products at such a standard that, you know, everywhere, you know, it, it, they can say it's a, a world-class product. After the brief exchange, the entourage embarks on the tour of the facility. agricultural sector due to limited processing and preservation capacity. This results in high food prices and food importation with its attendant effects on the nation's foreign reserves. To enable Nigerians optimize the benefits from the country's vast agricultural products such as cassava, oil palm, rice, tomatoes and others, the Bank of Industry has launched a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, the CAP Fund. Customers can access the fund to establish plants to process our various agro-produce into food products or intermediate raw materials for industries at a single-digit interest rate of 9% per annum. For more information on the CAP Fund, please visit www.boinigeria.com slash CAP Fund. Bank of Industry, developing Nigeria's agro-processing industry through the CAP Fund. So the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Okechuku Enelama, has inaugurated a new board for the Bank of Industry and he has asked it to raise the bar. Remember, you are part of that plan. Take a step today and let the Bank of Industry support you. Visit their office closest to you or log on to their website. It's pretty simple, boi.ng. You can also apply for BOI loans online. Simply download the BOI SME loan app from the Google Play Store and follow the instructions. You can feel free to tweet at me. It's at K-A-Y Alliant on Twitter for further inquiries. Watch previous editions of the program on YouTube.com by typing BOI Weekly in the search area. That will be our show for today. Many thanks for watching. I'm Kaede Alliant. Bye now.